the proverbial king of beasts. The lion has been one of the best known wild animals since earliest times. There are two types of lion subspecies. One is named Panthera leo, Melanocata, and lives across South and East Africa. The second lion subspecies has the scientific name Panther leo leo and lives in West Africa, Central Africa, and Asia. Today, lions have been pushed into more isolated pockets of their once vast natural range, with the remaining African lion population now found only in sub-Saharan African countries. In India, a small population of Asiatic lions can still be found in a remote part of the Gir Forest. Despite their dwindling numbers, lions are actually incredibly adaptable animals that can and will inhabit very dry climates as they get most of the moisture they need from their food. They prefer areas of open woodland, scrub, and long grasslands, where there is not only plenty of cover, but also a wide variety of prey. They are only not found in areas of rainforest or far into deserts. As you can see, North America is not on the list of places where lions live, but things have been different in the past. During the Pleistocene epoch, lions lived in Africa, Europe, Asia, and North America, giving them one of the largest ranges of any animal. The lions that lived in North America were called American lions. For paleontologists, these lions are a source of debate. Their classification and how they are related to other big cats is uncertain. Recent genetics suggest that American lions evolved from Eurasian cave lions that crossed the Beringia land bridge into North America. Atrox, in the lion's scientific name Panthera leo atrox, means cruel or frightful in Latin. And from what we can tell, this certainly describes American lions. Standing at almost 4 feet, or 1.2 meters tall at the shoulder, almost 8 feet, or 2.5 meters long, and over 500 pounds, or 230 kilograms in weight, American lions were bigger than modern lions. They had long, slender legs with retractable claws, and they could roar. Although it is not certain if American lions had manes or not, their large size and bulk, sharp teeth and claws, and long legs would have made them a frightful sight indeed. These long legs would have made American lions formidable hunters as well. Similar to modern lions, long legs would have allowed American lions to sprint very fast, possibly up to 30 miles, almost 50 kilometers per hour. However, it is probable that they could not sprint for long periods and had to rely on ambushes. Being a carnivore, American lions would have probably hunted various other Pleistocene animals, such as horses, deer, camels, ground sloths, young mammoths, and bison. They might have hunted and lived alone or in small prides, kind of like modern lions. Whether the American lion hunted by itself or in groups, it must have been successful. During their time walking the earth, American lions walked themselves all across North America. Fossils have been found from Canada to as far south as Chiapas, Mexico. It was generally not found in the same area as the jaguar, which favored forests over open habitats. It was absent from eastern Canada in the northeastern United States, perhaps due to the presence of dense boreal forests in the region. American lions roamed across North America for thousands of years. Around 10,000 years ago, however, they went extinct, alongside a lot of other Pleistocene megafaunas. The exact reasons are unknown. Their extinction may have been due to human interference, humans hunting the prey American lions relied on, climate change, or both. Whatever the cause, the reign of the lions in North America came to an end. Today, these animals are still studied and imagined through the clues they left behind. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.